Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I'm gonna do a reaction video to Louis CK. Louis CK as you know is actually very funny, very very funny. I've seen pretty much all of his stand-up. So this is not the first time watching Louis CK. This is something I've already done. I've definitely watched Louis CK before. And this is one of my favorite clips. It is called Magic Mike and I will try best of anything. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Cause life is very confusing. Even I'm 49 years old and I haven't found a cruising altitude to my identity. I'm still fucking confused. I really, I get new feelings and they upset me. I don't like new feelings. I want to know what I like and get it and just die. That's what I want to do at this point. Like, I get, I have a weird relationship with this movie that's on cable sometimes. It's called Magic Mike. You ever seen this movie? Magic Mike. I've seen that movie. For those of you watching this on video many years from now, Magic Mike was a movie about male strippers starring Matthew McConaughey and Channing Tatum. Uh, and it was a very different country when it was <laughs> made from whatever you're watching. But anyway, we had a whole other thing going on. This building's not here anymore. But you're watching it on a dusty thing and it's all rubble. And you're watching this. I don't know why you're watching this out of everything. <laughs> But when things were real easy, we made movies like Magic Mike. Easy. It's just a nice movie about men who strip. <laughs> and uh, every time I'm flipping around and it comes on, I always stop. And then I play a little game of chicken with this movie. You know, I've seen this, but I still find it funny every time. I stop because it's a good movie. It's well made, directed by Steven Soderbergh, good director. And so I get into it, I get into the story, and then they start stripping. And then I start having all these feelings. <laughs> get, my face gets a little hot. At first I just get hostile for no reason. I just... <laughs> Did you get ho hostile when you watched it? <laughs> but then there's one part of the movie that I like. I have a favorite part of Magic Mike. So I always stick around for that part. It's the part where Matthew McConaughey, he's wearing leather pants. No shirt. He goes, the law says you cannot touch, but I think I see a lot of law breakers out there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that. It's like perfect. It's the way he rolls out of him. I think I see a lot of law breakers out there. It's brilliant. <laughs> I just really like that. And it does a good I impression. Like and when the movie comes on, I'm always like, all right, this gets to where he says that. And then he says it, and I'm like, fucking good, that's really good. <laughs> I like it a lot. Here's how much I like it. I don't really do impressions, and I kind of nail that one because I yeah, think he about did, it all he did the pretty time. good. He did pretty good with that. I'm walking around my house, like, oh, the law says you can't touch. The law says you can't touch. I go up to my dog, but I think I see a lot of lawbreakers right here. One second. I ate something earlier today, and it's really doing my head in, because... Um, damn hair. I think I should get a haircut soon. Alright, sorry, I won't pause it again. I love it. <laughs> like that part and then after he says it all these strippers come on Matthew McConaughey all these strippers Channing Tatum comes out fucking <laughs> <laughs> because Channing Tatum was a stripper before he became famous and then I go like fuck and then I have to stop because I'm starting to get a feeling I'm starting to get like a feeling it's not a boner it's not a boner but I, 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 I can feel my dick starting to turn over a little bit. <laughs> Just starting to... You know when you can feel your dick kind of unfold? 
Here I am. <laughs> Making an announcement, letting you know, oh, I'm boy, still here. It's been blowing up for a while. The, <laughs> the wrinkles are starting to come out. It's taking shape. <laughs> like a blow up doll. <laughs> Just that early. <laughs> My dick's just waking up. <coughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> anyway, I've never watched the whole movie. I've never seen Magic Mike in its entirety. Because I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the end of Magic Mike. I know what the end of Magic Mike is. I'm pretty sure that the end of Magic Mike is that I'm gay. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how it ends. I don't want to see the ending. I want to stay like this. You know why? Because I'm 49 years old. I don't want to enter the gay community now. <laughs> this is not the version of me that's going to have an awesome time as the new gay guy. So fuck that. And that's my right, by the way, because that's about me. That is my life. I would never discriminate against another person for being gay. I wouldn't dream of it, but I have every right to oppress and discriminate <laughs> against my own possible budding homosexuality. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> That's true. Violently you can do whatever down. you want to yourself. It doesn't matter. It's your right. Like it's a dude I'm trying to make blow me. <laughs> He's silly. He's funny. I like his and comedy. And you know, I haven't become like uh, generally attracted to men. I'm not sexually attracted to men. Just Matthew McConaughey and Channing Tatum. Those two guys? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Seriously. Matthew with his like leathery skin. He's like, ah. Just. Ah. Fucking sexy. One second. I'm going to pause it. You know whenever you hang around uh, with your mates and stuff and occasionally they would come up with the stupid question What if that person was this would you uh, fuck him or her and they ask these questions and every time no matter what answer you come up with they always like ha ha laughing at you So that's uh, that's what it's like what do you call it I don't know why it popped in my head but <laughs> yeah I get it It's funny and Channing, kind of dumb face, like, eh. like oh, <laughs> shit. Every time oh, it does this bit, fuck. it reminds me of I like it. Uh, end of the world. But men in general, I'm not into it. It's just these, you know what I think it is? It's, I'm only gay for the best. <laughs> I'm top shelf gay. I'm not retail gay, you know what I mean? I'm not off the rack gay. I'm not gonna go to J.C. Penney's and suck a bunch of dicks. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Neiman Marcus and get the signature collection. <laughs> Platinum dick. The best. This transition best is brilliant. Dick. How he comes up with it. Cause I'll try the best anything. If it's the best Look. one, I'll try it. <laughs> like I don't like cognac. I would never buy a bottle of Hennessy and keep it in my house. But I had never tried the best cognac. If somebody was like, would you like to try this cognac? It's, this cognac was 500 years old, 300 years ago. 800 years, this bit always pisses like me off. He does it so well. I'm like, 800 years, <laughs> man. Like if but he does it for Kenyan restaurant. I don't want to go to Kenyan restaurant. I know all the foods that I like. But if somebody was like, this is the best Kenyan restaurant. It takes six months to get a reservation. I can get you in. They fly live turtles in. And you eat, you bite off its screaming face while oh. it's alive. <laughs> and every turtle you eat is the last of his species. <laughs> ah, can't wait to eat that fucking turtle. <laughs> end his people with my mouth. <laughs> the best, I'll try it. If somebody was like, we have a guy here, he has the best dick. The best dick ever. His dick has been soaking in olive oil since he was five years old. 
was been feeding him nothing but butter and penises his whole life. Is the best dick, and you can suck it right now. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Well, let me see it. <laughs> Can I see it? Can you take it out? Oh, on my cheek hurts. I'm smiling. Beautiful. Oh my god. That's my favorite thing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bring it closer. god. I don't, want, I don't know what I'm going to do, but bring it closer, please. <laughs> it's not red wine. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up every time. At that point, you put it in your mouth, right? <laughs> if you're looking at the best dick ever and you're not sure you want to suck it, just put it in your mouth. <laughs> And then decide. Just for like 20 seconds. That's a long time. That's 20, <laughs> 20 seconds. That's a long time to have a dick in your mouth that you're ambivalent about. 20 seconds. If you have a dick in your mouth for 20 seconds, you are not deciding. <laughs> this is, I'll show you. It's 20 seconds with a dick in your mouth. All right, I'm counting as well. Oh, it's a bit faster. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. I decided not to suck that dick. That's been in my mouth all day. <laughs> so, that was Magic Mike and... I'll try best of anything by Louis C.K. As I mentioned, I am a very huge fan of Louis C.K. And I think he's brilliant. This bit is one of my favourites. And I like he makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable by going in so much detail and talking about this. Because it's comedy. Comedy is supposed to get a reaction out of you you may not agree with disagree with but you laugh because it's just comedy and I watch every type of comedy I've got no discrimination against comedy and that's why I want to do loads and loads more comedy I want to do Bill Burr I want to do uh, Dave Chappelle uh, what do you call it? Uh, Ricky Gervais Jimmy Carr and uh, what do you call it before uh, Frankie Boyle before he got like this and I want to do uh, what's in a, uh, Patrice O'Neill I want to do uh, Joe Rogan I want to do all of these I want to do because I enjoy their comedy they touch serious topics with comedy and which is exactly what it's supposed to be it is absolutely brilliant I loved it and I hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it please like so, uh, subscribe and share the video and leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time.